In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be, welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you're around here. My name is James, aka Widowed, and this is a brand new series of One Hour Limit Locked. We are back for Season 2, Chefing Season. This season is all about going for those Barrow's Gloves. And just off the bat, I want to preface that the 60 days on the clock is not really a strict thing this season. Honestly, I have no idea how long this is going to take me because there is a lot to do. When I first saw the suggestion in the comments by, I think, Spec Ops to do Barrow's Gloves, I thought, oh, that'll probably be kind of quick. I don't really know if it's going to be enough to make content out of. But then I started looking into it and... Holy shit, yes it is. These are all the quests that I have to do in order to, to get this done. The 78 quests, because we need a total of 175 quest points to fight the final boss. We've got each of the eight different people that we need to free and their relevant sub-quests that you need to have completed to even start freeing them. So there is a shit ton, and we're going to be taken all across Gilanor, training all sorts of different skills that we've been neglecting so far. You can see here I've also got my current skills and how many levels I've got to go in each of the various skills to complete this challenge. So yeah, there is a lot. Uh, 60 days is sort of more like my estimate, like a par for the course, almost. So I'm expecting it to take around that long, but if it takes a bit longer, then that's okay. I'm not going to be worrying about getting it done on the last day like I was last time. I'm more asking the question with this season, how long does it take to get Barrow's Gloves when you can only play for an hour a day? Starting off from where we left off in the previous season after getting our fire kit. Uh, now, I did log into the account ever so briefly just to sell off some stuff. I haven't bought anything new that I will be using for this challenge. I've got a big shopping list ready to go as the first order of business. But I did sell off some of the, like, the blowpipe is currently still up for sale in the GE. Uh, but the, the like, rest of the potions and supplies are sold off and stuff. Just cleaned the bank ever so slightly. Uh, that was pretty much it, and I've bought a year subscription because I don't want to stop playing this account anytime soon. It is so much fun, and part of that is the hype and joy that I'm bringing to y'all because it, it's just so nice every time I see one of those comments about how much they're enjoying it or whatever. Like, it, it means the world to me. It makes me want to keep going, and yeah, I'm having so much fun so far that we're going to keep it pushing. So... Without further ado, I am going to log in, start the timer, and get my list of all sorts of things, and get cracking. Season 2, day 1, starting now. Okay, so, just going to buy everything. we've got pretty much everything we want for the minute so it's time to get on with quest number one we are going to be doing Gertrude's cat so I think we want our Varroctelia Lumbiard 
we want um, the seasoned sardine, a bucket of milk, 100 coins, I'll just take the cash stack, I don't need a raw sardine. Okay, and then after that we're going to be going to Lumbridge, I didn't buy any Lumbridge teleports, I'm done. Going to need a bunch of those over the course of the challenge, so I'll just get, uh, okay, I'll just get like one or two. Uh, make sure I get that as well. One bridge teleport for after. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. A uh, stamina potion would be nice. And we'll take a ring of wealth with us. Um, do we have a duelin? No, we don't have any duelins. Okay, we take the duelin, get glory, go wealth, get our uh, combat bracelet. We've got stamina. We want cosmic runes. And all these other runes. We're gonna equip our water battle stuff. No bolts. So I'll make sure this works before I leave the bank. Don't have enough water runes. Oh, I can't wear battle staffs. I'm done. Regular staffs. Okay, this is how I'm gonna get some magic XP as I'm doing what I'm doing. That's the plan. Alright, off we go. No time to waste. Okay, so my early goals for the next few days or so are going to be mainly about doing quests that improve my agility and quests that unlock me transportation methods. Uh, mainly the fairy rings is the first transportation method I'm going to be going for. So we just got to do this real quick and then we go to the Rarok Center. Yeah, and while we're doing that, we're going to be doing our best to gain as many magic levels as we can to help with that grind, because we need to get all the way up to level 59 in total. Done. Yeah, okay, it won't be hard. So yeah, I'm just going to be enchanting these bolts as we're running around, because it's the most efficient way for me to get these early magic levels out of the way until we have stuff like alchemy. Uh, I have to do the bucket of milk first. Give me good RNG, come on. That blocky. Hey! Wait, did I exit out of it or something? Shit. She done? Okay, I'm gonna go to Ferox real quick because I forgot my skills necklace. It's the quickest way to get back there, so we may as well reset our run and pro. Almost done with Gertrude's cat though. It's gonna take us three days to grow a cat. <laughs> How crazy is that? We're also just going to get our ingredients for the... Oh, we didn't get a fucking rotten tomato balls. Get most of the ingredients for... Right, we're going to go to the cooking guild. Right next to our last Gertrude's. Talk to her. Bada bing, bada boom. Got ourselves a kitten. Let's go. Should I feed it? I should feed it. And give her a bunch, and I'll stroke it or whatever. Okay. Gonna need that cat layer. I'm just running over here to get a fucking rotten tomato. There we go. Cook's assistant next, the classic. Oh shit, I forgot more of my bolts. I'm gonna do that a lot. Start the cook's assistant. And there it is, mammoth task there to get the cook's assistant going. Here we go though, we're starting the, the real mission. The real mission. Recipe for disaster itself. He's going to need himself one dirty blast and we are going to get it for him. And summon an evil spirit. Do we not have everything? F's in chat. I have new green mentail. Did we not get the green mentail? Use ashes. Okay. Here we go. Gotta love some long cutscenes in one hour limit locked. See so yeah, how the plan for this? Gonna go do Knight's Sword. Do you probably need to get some more followed or teleports? I'm not sure if they bought. Can't remember if we got them or not in the end. If I can be bothered, I should move my house, but. To Remington. I think I'll just go drain her and run. It's quite long, though, isn't it? We can always go crafting guild run from there. That's probably the best one. 
We should be able to get the night sword done in a decent amount of time, and then we can move on to Tourist Trap. From there, it's the Grand Tree, and we should have a nice boost to our agility levels after both those two quests. Wasn't planning to explain all this up front, but finding something to do while this cutscene's playing. <laughs> and there's the BBEG, the big bad evil. Level 1, Colour and Amansa. Such a classic, classic quest for a classic, iconic item. Much like the fire cape we got last season. We'll do Aris, but I'll do it in a bit, because we can't actually help with that right now. So see you later. Alright, do we have the chest down here? We should. Let's go! Okay, we will put away some shit. I keep think, feeling like I'm missing stuff. I'm going to put the fire cape on because we need to wear it and flex the fact that we have it. That's better. Now all is right with the world. Okay, just going to quickly move the house. Not her, it's this guy. Always do that because of Morgany Homes. Relocate to Remington. Thank you very much. There's 19 magic. We started on 16. I don't know why you keep stopping me. Oh, I feel like I saw this in a solo mission video at some point when he was speedrunning. If you red click, then you can bolt, but otherwise it stops you after a few. If you yellow click, so I should be red clicking before bolting. Alright, we go to... Oh wow, we didn't need the Varrock teleports. I'm done. Let's just go to the GE. Pretty close to the GE anyway. Yeah, it's letting me just run all the way there now rather than stopping me. Okay, red click, red click, red click is the answer. This is a lovely run, I'm not going to lie. For the bolts, that is. These levels are coming in thick and fast. We're going to have access to our teleports in no time. Okay, now we're going to go... We didn't buy house tellies. Do we just go back? I'm just going to run back because this is so nice. Boom. Right, outside. Go down to his yard. I didn't get the pie, did I? What am I doing? I need to get the pie. I need to get a pickaxe as well. Redberry pie. Pickaxe. Iron bars. I was also missing iron bars. Hello, Thurgo. You want a pie, mate? You enjoy that, buddy. I would like a sword, please. Are we going back to Falador if I remember right? Yep. Yep, I have enough Falador tellies. Somehow I have a feeling I don't. Oops. Sorry, buddy. He's not in here, is he? Smoked it. Do I have to talk to my man Thurgo before I can get the ore? Or can I get it on the way past? I feel like I have to talk to him first or I can't mine it. Oh, that's 24 magic. Certainly making strides. It's a very expensive method, but we've got money and we're not doing it for that long, so... Worth it to get these early levels out of the way basically for free while we're doing the quests we're going to be doing anyway. Do I need two? Or is it just one? Just one? Okay. Alright, now we just go back. It's another one done. Perfect, and now we have the smithing level to be able to do a tourist trap. So that is the next one we're going to be aiming for. We are just going to the Ferox Enclave to get a quick recharge. And then we'll head down to Alcarid and get on with it. We're going to slap our magic gear on as well now. Have the level to wear these robes. I didn't buy air runes. I'm done. Quick stop at G8. Because I didn't buy air runes. Cool. And I need what, a knife. Just a normal knife, please. Just a knife. Not a kitchen knife. Just a normal knife. Where's a normal knife? Fuck me. Okay. Need no stand, don't we? Oh, shit. Okay, when I accidentally attack someone. <laughs> Come on, bro. My first killing mage gear. <laughs> I just wanted to stab in a potion. Oh, uh, cat needs food. Trade shanty. Get some passes. Uh, get a shirt. Rub. Rub. 
I'll get a few ropes and just stick them in the bank. Oh, this guy sells knives, of course he fucking does. And then we will put this on. Take, we have to take all our combat gear off, don't we? Or something. I don't know, we'll do that when we do that. What skins? There we go. Boom. I think we're pretty good. Probably got way too much shit on me. I'm not going to need to feed the cat again anytime soon, am I? So I can put a couple of those back. And we can stroke him again. Boom. On we go! Oh, I'm in tower armor at this point, aren't I? Come on, me then, bitch. What about me is making this guy think he can fuck with me, really. The things I've seen, bro. I've been declaw specked in the wilderness by a horrible, nasty person without a skull on them. The things that I've seen. My kitten is literally stood under your feet laughing at you. He doesn't even care, he's not scared. Fucking taking a long time though, this magic level. There we go. Oh, you have to take all your shit off, don't you? No, don't get me. No! Fuck. Well, that was easy. Does fire cape count as armor? What the fuck is this? I've never been lost up here. I can wear the desert clothes car. Okay, there we go. Gonna have to drop some shit. Alright, so you're getting fed again early. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to attack a guard. Or did that guy just hit me because I got close to him? Okay. Unfortunately, I can't put my staff back on right now. I didn't buy any water runes, so... Can't do the uh, enchanting just at the moment. Okay, now we need to go get the denty. I think I'm actually just going to teleport out and run back. There's no way to teleport to the... Camp is there? We can get a carpet. I'll carpet. Okay, go into the Bebedin camp. Should have probably run so I could carry on doing the bolts actually, thinking about it, but I have to go back to the camp again. Uh mysterious old man. Yeah, I'll do a maze. That could be death runes. Wish I had all the doors tagged, but what can you do? Okay, we got like 72% there. Come on, give me some death runes or a nice big money drop. Feathers, myth or steel arrows? Garbage. In fact, I'm going to drop the steel arrows because I don't know if it's going to let me take them into the bandit camp. Oh, is this the bit where we talk to him about the new skill? Okay. Back again. Classic. Be a big part of this series. Running back and forth because that's what RuneScape quest developers seem to think is an important game mechanic. Oh, we finished our bolts. Wow. I did 4,000 bolts. Okay, 27 magic. That went a lot quicker than I expected. As in the bolts went quicker than I expected. We've got Varrock teleport now. That's it though. Hey. <laughs> we get a fletching level there as well. Can I get a pineapple? Thank you very much, sir. This quest is kind of long, but it's worth it for the agility XP. Should have brought some regular energy pots or something though. the fuck was that animation? Do I have to talk to her or can I just shove her straight in the barrel? Also, I love how I can't walk along the track, but it's perfectly fine for my kitten to. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it. Just shove her straight in a barrel. Not even gonna talk to her. She's a right annoying one, this. This little lassie is. Oh, I just realised what I did. Because I only used 400 casts, because it's... I, got, I bought 4,000 casts, but not 40,000 darts, because it's 10 per... I get it now. We've got shit tons left over. My face when this cart ride takes so long. <sighs> mm, there goes my stamina. Much regret. I think so when we're done here, we can go Ferox and back. And maybe we're done, maybe we have to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just out of energy, this is bad. Now i got to tell this guy bad jokes, right? There we are. Ironic that we run out of energy on the quest that we're doing so that we don't have to run out of run energy as much. I should have just gone to Ferox. Agility! And agility! Thank you very much. 
Tura Strap is done, 7 minutes left on the clock. Not really a lot of time to work with here, but we'll do whatever we can. Okay, so I should probably sell the sapphire bolts and... What's the... What type can I make? Bolts? Okay. Pilled... Oh, I can do emerald tipped crossbow. That's one cosmic, three air, one nature. So I'd need nature runes and air runes. But I can get an air staff. I didn't even see which one that was. Emerald tipped. Emerald bolts. Okay, the emerald bolts aren't really buying. Let's see if I can just get like a thousand. Okay. And then we'll get a hundred nature runes as well to go with. Okay, I'll keep us going for all four seconds. And some energy potions. Cool. Equip this. And we may want some food. I think we're good though. Oh, we need the cosmic runes. Do we have everything? Yeah, we don't need mind runes anymore. Okay, South Graveyard. Oh, there's like nothing to red click here. Maybe if I could use something on something and then do it. And yeah, that works. I'm just casually brushing everything that I pass with this sardine. <sighs> 29 magic coming in towards the end of our day here. Mm, now I have to run all the way back down. Oh, please let me get to my man squirrel. I don't want to be logging out in the middle of a swamp. <laughs> okay, we got the left click off on the bridge. And that will be it. We are not quite finishing Nature Spirit today, but we will be tomorrow. I guarantee you that. We are up to 54 quest points out of the 175 goal. With 73 quests remaining on our list. We got 5 done today and started on a 6, so very nice. Gertrude's Cat, Cook's Assistant, Recipe for Disaster and Another Cook's Quest, The Knight Sword, The Tourist Trap. And of course we started Nature Spirit there at the end. We've also got our cat who is going to require attention in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to log out so that that doesn't actually... Like, the cat doesn't die. <laughs> I don't want my cat to die. We also just got him. Tomorrow we'll be doing Nature Spirit and on to Fairy Tale. Uh, yeah, I think we should be able to get Fairy Tale done tomorrow. And then maybe even pick up the Grand Tree after it. We'll see how it goes. But that is it for day one of season two of One Hour Limit Locked. Yeah. If you get some hype in the comments for a new season, let me know what you think of the plan, y'all. I know I talked about a raid and I talked about Fort's Coliseum, but after I looked into how much there is to get done here and the variety of content it'll take me to all across the game, it just seemed like a no-brainer. Like, it... it it's, it's just I think it's gonna work really well and, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as you did the previous season Make sure to leave a like on the video of course It does help out a ton both promoting me into the algorithm and just for letting me know that you enjoy what I'm doing Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already is the best way to support the channel and Leave a comment down below letting me know your feelings about the new season as we are seasoning this recipe for disaster all right that will be it for day one until the next time look after yourself be lovely to one another and i will see you on the next one